The following video contains step-by-step -step instructions on how to maintenance a 2.5 through 4 inch Derringer 30 micro bypass assembly. These are the tools required. Close the downstream ball valve. Close the upstream ball valve. Use an adjustable wrench to loosen the couplings on both sides of the meter. Remove the bypass meter. Examine the meter coupling gaskets for damage and debris. Replace if necessary. Reinstall the meter and retighten the meter couplings with an adjustable wrench. Use an adjustable wrench to remove the check valve cover. Remove the spring from the valve body. Remove the check poppet from the valve body. Remove the seat assembly from the valve body. Examine the check cover o-ring for damage and debris. Replace the o-ring if necessary. Examine the spring for damage. Examine the check seat for damage and debris. Examine the check seat o-ring for damage and debris. Replace the o-ring if necessary. If debris is found on the check disc, the check may just be fouled. The debris can be cleaned off to make the check seal properly without having to replace the check disc. Use a rag and some water to clean the debris off of the check disc. Once the debris has been cleaned from the check disc and no damage is present, the check can be reinstalled into the valve body for testing. If damage to the check disc has been found, please take the following steps to remove and replace the damaged disc. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the check disc retaining screw. Remove the check disc retaining washer. Remove the check disc. Use a flathead screwdriver if necessary. Install new check disc and make sure it is completely flat inside the check cavity. Reinstall the check disc retaining washer. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to retighten the check disc retaining screw. Reinsert the check seat assembly into the valve body. Reinsert the check poppet into the valve body. Reinsert the spring into the valve body. Reinstall the check cover onto the valve body. Use an adjustable wrench to re-tighten the check cover. Open the upstream ball valve. Open the downstream ball valve. Perform a test on the backflow preventer according to your local testing regulations to ensure the check valves have been repaired properly. For more information about the Derringer product line, further technical support, or to download a printed copy of these instructions, please visit our website at backflowdirect.com.